this week on Not Your Average Fangirls. Vernon just reminds me of a uh, one of the three blind mice from Shrek. So anytime he tries oh to act God. hard, it just doesn't <laughs> work for me. Oh Never my God. <laughs> wow. Happy 2023, everybody. Chaos has already ensued in the Not Your Average Fangirls headquarters as we celebrate Omega X winning their lawsuit, New Jeans continue taking over the world, and Taeyang from Big Bang released Vive featuring Jimin, and it is indeed a Vive. Check it out. What's up, you guys? We're back. Happy New Year, everybody. Woo! It is. It is. It's not your average fan girls. We're back with another week of K pop miss the first podcast of the year. Hello, everybody. Did you miss us? The answer is yes. I know you did. Thank you. <laughs> uh, it's your girl Cat. It has been quite a long time without June He, um, but it's okay. You know, I'm living. I'm surviving. He is slowly feeding me little by little. He's posting things now, so like. I can't be too upset, but what I can be upset about is Hechan not being well. Take care of yourself, King. I miss you. He, I, he pissed me off. <laughs> Damn. T. We will talk more about this during the news. But yes. I, I'm wow. Trouble in paradise. I see. Also, San, bitch. You. He's the mm. devil. Mm. Oh. Anyways, also just be love them. Yeah, thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, it's Cynthia, and I received a notification from my period app that my period starts in seven days, and it was giving ring, you know, like the, like seven days. So very, very scared. But in other news, speaking of Just Be, Gonu, he be acting up, y'all. Like he is, I don't know Mm. what has gotten into him. It was after he saw (laughs) y'all. The other day he posted a tweet of him like looking out the window all longingly and he was like, you can be my wife for real. Like those, that was literally the caption. Yeah, he's been doing the most. But he put FR and I was like, what in the actual? (laughs) He's just a lot. A whore. He's a whore. Yeah. And I love that. I love that for us, but I also hate that for us. Hey everyone, it's Terika. Um, I'm back from in city. Like yeah, my body is. physically yes. is, but my 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 mind, nah. She she gone. She's still on <laughs> vacation. She's still she's still in her high rise, her high rise apartment <laughs> in in city. But it's fine. She'll catch up to the rest of my body soon. Yeah, I was sad that my baby boo was not there. I was so hurt because I was so ready to see him, and I was so hurt too because I thought like I thought they said hospital. I thought my man was like on life support. I was like what is happening and then i was so pissed and then we get to the night before the houston show and he's just like hey like i'm so upset i can't be there but i'm working out now and eating Mm -hmm. i'm like what like why are you at the gym you're (laughs) you're supposed to be resting like your heart was not beating correctly why are you at the gym but it's fine it's fine because according to mark they're gonna be back yeah he messed up real big he was just like i mean it's mark lee are we surprised yeah no he got caught up in because he came out with his hair the oh, hair their hair and oh, we God. were barking we were it, it was done and then he started feeling himself even more and he was just mm. doing the absolute most so he got to talking and talking and he was just like yeah like we can't wait to come back and like because we've been gone and we love houston we're gonna come back he's like so i hope y'all have like a great 20 uh 2023 he's like not that like we're not gonna be back because we're gonna be back before the year is over <laughs> i mean i'm not saying that i'm not saying that we will definitely be back but we're gonna come back sometime and like johnny's just giving him the death glare like just in the mint just stop yeah, talking. shut up stop just shut up. His mic. you're just <laughs> digging a deeper hole so we do know that they're gonna be back for something soon <laughs> wow he looked delicious he did yeah. he did that hair was oh, really sh- something wow. let me tell you Zamarcusly, the man that you are and hello everybody this is carolina i've been in a got seven hole the past couple days uh because i missed um jb where the hell are the dates for uh your usa <laughs> tour i know that it ain't happening but here it's we not. are <laughs> um uh jack Yugi, um, don't let her lie to you she's been looking at chang <laughs> <laughs> i can't Listen. even lie to you I can't even lie to you. When I posted that picture of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh in the chat, and you were like, "Ooh, my man," and I was like, "That's not." I was gonna put. I was gonna put. That's not a picture of Changbin, but I was like, you know what? Let me let her have it. (laughs) Let me let her have it. Listen, (laughs) how dare you? It's because he's been MIA, okay? And it's because bitch Junie's in the military, and I'm still out here every week. (laughs) Every Mm -hmm. week, I am not loyal. I am not loyal. She has been. She has been the military wife. 
through and okay. through. That's true. <laughs> well, we already know how I'm going to act. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get a new man. Like, Who's yu gi <laughs> I just know that he posted, like, I saw those pictures, and I was like, damn, like, I'm still whipped. That, that's my man. That's still my man's. But don't mm-hmm. put yu gi and chang next to each other because I would not know what <gasps> to do anyways. Uh- Damn. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. She Yu-Gi-Oh! is dropped as wow. her number one. Wow. And Chang-Man is number one. Yu-Gi-Oh! Wow. is number two. Everyone, you heard it here that- first. <laughs> No. I never thought I'd live to see the day. Is wow. Carolina's number one old bias. Carolina, wow. Because you put any of my bias next to Tay, and obviously I'll still go for Hold Tay. Breaking on, news. don't put words Breaking in my mouth. News. I said, you, you said, said it. you wouldn't know what to do. Yeah, because mm-hmm. they both number one, okay? <gasps> like, that's uh-huh, it. I've sure. come to that conclusion. Sure. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. So, anyways, um, <laughs> my life is in shambles, uh, but that's okay. Can't wait for this AOMG tour so I can see my man finally. But anyways, I want to know about the NCT concert because it looked great, Terika. Also, yeah. y'all missed it, but Terika's outfit was so amazing. Oh my Beautiful. God. <sighs> she looks so fucking good. The fashion icon that she is. She right? was really stunning on these hoes. Like, how does it feel, Terika? How does it feel to <laughs> be that bitch? <laughs> I'm serious. Like, you look so you good, did. bitch. I reset my fucking Instagram password for you. I you was like, good. I need to see this, like, this fit. You look I good. wish I would have taken a screenshot because I knew that, like, she wasn't going to post nothing else. You look good. <laughs> it. Yeah. The people want a picture. Like, can you post it on Twitter and or Instagram? I don't know. The people don't need a picture because I'm going to be Lizzie McGuire outfit repeater and that might be <laughs> <laughs> what I'm wearing again, and I don't want people to be like, "Wow, she's just gonna wear this for every like NCT every show. NCT yes. event ever." Yeah, yes, because she's an ethical queen. Duh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what have oh. you done for the planet lately? <laughs> Nothing. But damn. But yeah. But that show looked really fun, and Houston looked lit, and they looked fun. Like they had like such a great time. They love Houston. I every time I see the love on the floor choreo, I die a little bit. It's great. <laughs> Especially, like, when you get those members that really be feeling themselves. Like, if you hype them up enough, they be trying to be so extra. So, like, we love it's that. great. Yeah, like, Utah. Utah was I'd be extra, too, if you were telling me to, like, Stop. if you were hyping me up. I'm just you, saying. Utah was doing the most. Like, he was on he a lot of things. I don't know. Ooh. He's a slut. He is. he is a slut. I love yeah. that. But anyways, excited that they're coming back because... You know, maybe I'll get to see them this time. <laughs> you will. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, we have a lot to catch up on for um everything we missed. So we're just going to do, you know, quick fire like how we always boop, do. Boop, for boop, example, boop. we got some dating news. Oh, oh, first of all, congrats to Vernon and Seventeen. They finally got a uh, dating scandal. They said that Vernon was dating um one of TXT's <laughs> stylists. Oh, everybody- wow. Yeah. So there's nothing else except for the comment. Didn't they have a dating scandal before? Didn't Dino have a dating scandal? Yeah, with the oh, older yeah. manager yeah. lady something. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's right. Yeah, because yeah, it was such a big thing because she was older than him. And everyone's like, oh. I guess it's because yeah. nobody really took that one seriously. <laughs> <laughs> this one, on the other hand, people are just like, oh, wait a second. Maybe. Huh. So, Good but yeah. Him. So that happened. There's nothing else about it. Just literally that statement. Where did that statement come from? Nobody knows. Nothing. So it came out of thin air. But somebody <laughs> did Somebody <laughs> did just trash burn into the ground because they were just like, damn, maybe that's why he's dressing well nowadays. I said, damn. Ah! Dang. I said, damn. You did have to go after him like that. But anyways, IU and Lee Jung Suk are dating now. We love that for them. Mm-hmm. Um, Sun Jun Ki is also dating this British lady. I forget. I did it. I did bro, see her name. I am sorry. Bro, no, that's literally the headline. That's what was like taking me out. They're like dating British woman. Yeah. And that they were like introduced and have been dating for a year. And she went on the press tour and he introduced her to his staff. But like the entire thing, they were just like, yeah, she's just like, you know, somewhere in London, somewhere in Britain. <laughs> so, somewhere in Britain. Nobody knows I love that. Day. I, that, those are my favorite headlines. Like, <laughs> it kind of sucks because, like, really, like, this woman is a, like, she's a whole person. She's not subjected to who she's dating. But I love that. Like, it's just, like, like idle dates office worker. Idol date <laughs> random <laughs> British bitch. Like, random, like, <laughs> like, if you were dating an idol, like, Kat, like, if you were dating Junhee, what do you think your, like, soompy headline would be? <laughs> soompy headline would be uh, Park Junhee of Ace dating Latina woman. <laughs> That's what my headline would be. <laughs> That's it. Yep. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> let Tina walk. <laughs> They're gonna be like, we can't. That's that's all we know. I love that though because they talked about how you know she's not in the world or like Latina influencer. They do that Latina influencer. <laughs> Latina influencer. <laughs> People are gonna be like, who? And then that's it. Move on. But uh, so yeah, so congrats to all of them. Um, and uh, some news about YG. YG is going to the ground. Apparently, <laughs> everybody's leaving YG. We love we to kinda, hear it. We kind of see that coming, except for Blackpink. They were just like, Blackpink is not leaving YG. They specifically said that. Uh, but Young left YG and signed to the Black Label, which is still YG. So like, okay. Um, this song, he left <laughs> yeah. uh, left YG. Um, I don't think he's resigning with them at all. He's probably going to go to Japan. So that's mm-hmm. the rest of it, bang. Um, Icon yes! left YG. So could you check it out? No, GD is still talking with, with YG about Oh, well, yeah, but I meant. Yeah, but he gone. Yeah. So um, Icon left Beautiful. YG as well. Yes. So, Amazing. Like, Wait, you they, can't just like gloss over that bitch. And they signed with 143 Entertainment. Honestly, I'm wa- I was hoping for them to be like, so B.I. Bitch, let me tell yeah, you, right. when I saw you this know. headline, because B.I.'s company is 131, and this company was <laughs> yeah, me yeah. Too. I me like too. had a little heart attack. I was like, <laughs> and then I realized, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe they're, they're, they're still in the talks, you know, and, and, Maybe. and the, the next Maybe icon collapse. comeback. The next icon comeback, they're gonna be like BI is gonna randomly show up. Icon featuring BI. <laughs> featuring BI. Yep. That would be so cute. Oh, I love I, I hope. Would love that. I, I'm just excited for Icon because they Same. they you know, here we are. Here we are years later, still saying, damn, they deserve they better. Deserve Literally. So hopefully they do the featuring BI for every song. Um, so that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> Block B, uh, J Ho, B Bomb, and Yukon also left. So Seven seasons. We saw this coming from a mile away mm-hmm, as well. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if uh, Block B will continue as a group. Like I don't know if that's yeah. I don't think they're really like, like a thing do, with them. Yeah. yeah. So so we'll see. And then um, in sad news, Pentagon Hus- uh, oh, Hong Suk he had to have an early discharge from the military um, due to his health. Uh, so he was having some what like panic attacks, yeah, anxiety, and depression, and anxiety. Aww. So so I, we're just sending him a lot of love and hoping that he is getting better and getting help because these are some serious, you know, mental issues to have. Mm-hmm. Um, and like we said, also mentioned earlier, Hechan had to stop promoting due to his health as well. We've been screaming at SM to let that boy mm-hmm. sleep. And the let, way let him y'all, rest. y'all do not know, the way I had like a mental breakdown, I went through like the seven stages mm-hmm. of grief. Like the way I <laughs> cried, like you would have thought that like, I don't know, I was sobbing. I was so upset. I think it was out of frustration because, like, mm-hmm. it's really sad that I had to get that bad yep. and be like, oh. Exactly. So you, oh, th- oh, okay, I guess you could take a break, mm-hmm. even though he's not. I mean, <laughs> like, heart palpitations, bro. <laughs> like, what? Bo- like, yeah. what? That's insane. So- At his age? Bitch. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, but like you could see it, and like the way, and I think it was just more frustrating, like like for the fans because like everyone can see it. Even the members were starting to like comment on things. Yep. They're just mm-hmm. like, yeah, like you know, he works real hard, and like he comes in and he's like dead tired, but he's promoting. Like there's like dropping hints too that they were worried, but and even though he is in the gym like an idiot, at least it's like on his own terms when he yeah. feels like it. Like if he feels like he can do it, and he's like chilling and finally getting some rest, and like. The only stupid thing that came out of that was the fact that it just sparked unit wars again. And for some reason, everybody thought that it was like, this is all because of 127. Or this is all Dream's fault. They never should have, like, they should just take him out. And I'm like, what? Like, it's just SM and poor planning. Like, there literally, there is no reason why their schedule should overlap like that at all. Especially when you have a whole ass wavy. Yeah. Like, if you just mm-hmm. throw away the comebacks in between, like, it, 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 what? But it makes sense, but, you know, they don't want to do that. Right. No, it doesn't even make sense. There's 23 members, and they don't use all yeah. 23 members. Thank you. So, what's the yeah. point? Yeah, and even then, like, they're, the way that 127's touring happened, like, it was dumb as shit as far as, like, them doing Korea and then coming to America for two days yep. and then going back and, and doing the same show again. but yep. added shows to Korea and then coming back, and now they're going, like, what? Like, they really didn't need like i'm not trying to be a hater or anything but they really didn't need that many korean shows for the same damn show. tour yeah yeah and then they added like the link plus which was that tour but like tons better because they added extra special stages and like different songs and but also I'm, like, like um 
it was all consecutively. Like, it was the dream shows, too. Exactly. So it was, like, dream shows, dream shows, dream shows. NCT, sh- like, yeah. 127 shows, 127 shows on. And then they had the SM Towns, and then they had the SMCU Palace, and then they, like, yep. it was just a lot. Mm-hmm. I feel like it was too much. And in high inside as well, like, Hyuki never, like, had a break. Like, at least Mark was at a dream for a little bit, so he had just, like, 127 mm-hmm. stuff to do. But Hyuk was always in dream. So, like, mm-hmm. he's mm-hmm. never had, like, that l- pause. He's just constantly been, like, And he's one of those people, like, he'll never openly be, like, you know, I'm, like, tired. I'm tired and yeah, I need a break. Like, yeah, never yeah had, especially like, with what he considers his role in the group. Yeah. Like, he's supposed to be the one that, like, makes, like, when everyone else is tired, yep. he needs to be the one that's, like, bringing joy and, like, hey, come on, guys, we got it. Mm-hmm. So, like, I don't know. It was just, it's just poor planning on the company's yep. part. Like, there's a lot of 100%. extra shit that happened that didn't need, like, even with Candy, freaking love the whole concept of this album. And, like, I la- I'm glad they got, like, a winter thing and, like, all the merch is hella cute. But the promotion period for it, like, they didn't really need to, like, do, do such yeah. active promotions. And also, like, all of the end of the year concerts. Like, I love that they did all them, together, but, like, yeah. maybe pick one and go to one and then call it a day. Like, you didn't have to be both units all at every single end of the year award show thingy like mm, for what it was just yeah it was just like a lot of events all together and they just don't plan accordingly like yeah that's because i mean like i noticed that when they put that one picture and i was just like uh hechan looks like he's about to pass out yeah, like mm-hmm. he looks dead in the eyes right now like i think everyone sensed it mm-hmm. and everyone felt it like fans and members mm-hmm. li- like mm-hmm. alike but again it's one of those things where like as a fan you can't like overstep that boundary right of being like you need to rest and you need to do this like we can say it a million yeah. times but like there's a boundary mm-hmm. of like him as a like a professional and us as fans like exactly. we're not allowed to be that person to be like hey you need to stop and you need to rest and also mm-hmm. i know his members obviously the members are all close but i feel like they know that he's not the type to just like not work right so they're just probably right. like yeah oh like i don't know what to say i'm sure like i'm sure ty was probably like he needs to rest i'm sure all of them were like you know he needs some time off but like the company was just probably like no it's okay he'll let us know and he looks just not the type to be like hey yeah especially when he made the comment about him like because he go 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 he's on the go all the time yeah. and like he doesn't really eat and i'm like um that also mm-hmm. doesn't help because yeah. if you own if you're eating like a snack once like you're eating like once a day and the schedules that they have like not just him but in general like being an idol your ass can't eat like a half a meal once a day like you're burning way too many calories to be not eating so i'm just like yeah so hopefully both units get kind of like a little you know i don't know you know the company created that entire mindset into him though because like no one is no one Mm. is just born that way they definitely like conditioned him to feel he has to be like go 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 and that you can't ask for rest like technically you can legally they're like yeah you can but obviously it's looked down upon Mm -hmm. by them and so he just keeps going and pushing and pushing and pushing and and they're just like oh my god it's great that you keep pushing when in reality the responsibility is in the company that they should have seen this from the beginning especially because he was so young when he first started that they should have paced it better Mm. and they should have planned nct entirely better yeah as a whole it's like their comeback it's like their promotion periods like they need to if they would have do, if they did like Dream and then you know Wavy and then One Two Seven and kept something along those lines, like it would work mm-hmm. and it would give everybody a, a chance to be not do only a break, that, but like, but like extended promotion. They periods. ignore Wavy so much, but also extended mm-hmm. promotion periods. Like their promotion periods yeah. are always like maybe two weeks. It's like okay, like that's fine. Like they're a bigger group, so I understand that they want to go to like music shows and they want to get wins or whatever. But like consecutively having like promotion, 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 because that's kind of how mark and he have been for like such a long time like they'll promote with one two yeah. seven and then two weeks later they're promoting with dream so then there's another two weeks and then two weeks later they have like two dream shows in jakarta and then uh three days later they have like seven one two seven shows in the u.s so like it's just consecutively like da, 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 da. like like it's never mm-hmm. like a lull period right whereas like i feel like with nct with the way that it's created and built like you have so many options like you can put out a u unit fuck it like release a single and have them promote without like members that Mm -hmm. are gonna overlap what i'm hoping is gonna happen with this new unit is that they're going to like 
after the repackage for N one two seven, which I don't, I hope Hyuk doesn't promote the repackage. I hope he's just like not. I there. hope he doesn't promote either. Yeah, I hope he's just not there. He will be though. I know, sadly. Um, but after the repackage, I hope one two seven and Dream just like don't do anything for a while. I just don't want them to do anything and then focus on this new like unit that's happening. Yeah, I hope they just Wavy tour. don't do Wavy anything. Tour. They don't do Wavy anything tour. until March when they come here during spring break. Specifically my specific <laughs> spring break. Thank you. There you go. Um yeah. I'm excited for the Wavy fan the global fan meet. Like I'm excited. I want to go so bad. I'm so excited. Girl, I will be there. That's I can use my light stick. But hopefully after seeing what happened and how bad it got and the reaction from the fans, like they kind of and with it being like a new year a reset they don't feel like they have to like because they were gone for like one two seven was gone for three years from the states yep. so hopefully they don't feel like we just need to just like rush 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 throw shit together yep. like hopefully they they start pacing things better and they kind of have this like a learning curve especially like mark hopefully they're like watching and keeping their eye on that boy too because he we don't want him to keel over either because yeah, no. he's doing a lot especially with super m coming back yeah. hopefully they Ooh. pace this right where he has like a little break before he has to go into super m stuff oh yeah they also announced that super m is having a comeback y'all yeah. oh yeah girl <laughs> yeah <laughs> we just don't know when and we don't know who, who uh who? if it's, probably, it's gonna be the og yeah. lineup or not i'm pretty it wouldn't make sense for it not to be the og lineup mm -hmm, mm -hmm, bring mm -hmm. lucas back uh, bring well, lucas back <laughs> besides lucas yeah they <laughs> that's said, what i mean that's the og lineup they already said no lucas but there was seven b i know so but still I'm confused oh did they yeah because in the statement, oh. they were like, uh, S, uh, Super M comeback, all members except Lucas. Oh, wait. I feel like we talked about yeah. this in one of our last podcasts. Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I me mean, neither. I didn't remember until just now, everybody. So, never mind. Yeah. I don't know. I just hope that, like, if, and if, but, like, who else would they add? Because I feel like it would have to be another wavy member. <laughs> yang Yang. Cool. I was going to say, oh. I think the best Beck would have to be Yang Yang to fill that, to fill that, like, <laughs> slash. Oh, the slut role. The slut. He needs to, it has to be. It got to be. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I have like it would be cool if it's a whole new lineup. Like that'd be dope too. But like I want like super. But M, financially, super it wouldn't make sense. Yeah, people would. I want to see Taeyong and Ten again together. Please. Yeah, it had to be because who else would you put? Because it would have to be the same groups because they can't they can't change. Like it, ha it would have to be. I don't know. I don't think I just don't. Anyways, think anyone else? Who put Chana at all? You can make like a game out of right. <laughs> who will be the new units. Super M? Let's see. EXO, EXO. <laughs> let's see. Maybe Chanyeol. Maybe we'll throw Tranyol in there. True. Um, some, no, Schumann wouldn't be good in Super M. Mm, Chanyol, maybe. Maybe a Sahoon. <laughs> maybe a Sihoon. Yes! <laughs> no. Uh, no. <laughs> Oh my god, but anyways, yeah. uh, moving along then to more things that happened. Everybody, Luna was supposed to have a comeback, <laughs> um, but obviously it got postponed um, because they are in legal battles, but we just got news um, this past week that four members did win their lawsuit against Blockberry Creative. Yeah. Um, so it was Heejin, Kim Lip, Jin Sol, and Cherry, and the rest of them did not, but... I did read a thing that said that kind of like that's like the they kind of said that verdict now, but like the the case is still ongoing. Yeah, they can appeal. Yeah, that by the end of it, maybe the rest of them could also get out of their contract. I just think this is wild, right? Because like everything happened, and then the news came out that all these that the members were filing injunctions, and then Blockberry was like, "No, they're not." And then everybody was like, "What are you talking about?" Yes, they here's are. a comeback. And then the the company was like, "No, here's a comeback. No one's leaving." And then Luna was like, "No, we're leaving." And you could notice like all of the pictures that they use for um like the previews for the comeback and stuff were all like Old stock photos, pictures. Yep. Yeah, so they in a mess. Um, <laughs> Luna's getting out. Everybody. Yes. Good, Good for them. Yep. Jail. Yay! Behind bars. Um, Omega X also won their lawsuit against their Woo! agency. So that is very exciting. Um, they got rights, I guess, to the name and like to be continue be a group. And they did mention that they are planning to continue being a group and um, to like return to do music and things like that. So that's very exciting. Very I hope that maybe another company picks them up and they're able to continue on that way. Um, unless they're going to go independent. You know what? Fuck it. We love it's it. It's 2023. Yeah, it. The last six like bits of news it's just like companies do better. <laughs> literally, Facts. It's literally that. What are y'all doing? Y'all got the money. Y'all got the staff. 
And y'all, like, what are you doing? For example, what's the Le Seraphim, um, what's her name? American. Um, Yunjin. 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 Yeah. Uh, oh, she was also in a dating rumor with um, little TXT uh, Yunjun. Good for her. Oh, yeah, I saw. Yeah. I'm about it. I support it. Good for her. Yeah, I support it, too. I was like, ooh. I said about time, baby, that you bring someone home. I love that. Okay, but anyways, but Yunjin, she did drop a song like by herself, and um, it's re- it's really good, everybody. But why I'm bringing her up is because she was mentioning like way before, like how she wants to change like the K-pop world and things like that, mm-hmm. the industry, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you can tell that now. I think that these idols are just not are fed up. Like they're Over just it. like that. You can like I think what we've seen in the last couple of years with like people, you know, like for example, I am leaving um, Starship, but still being in Monster X and still working together. You know, you had the whole GOT7 thing. Like I think a lot of idols are noticing that you don't need to stay in this like shitty ass basement company in yeah. order to still be successful. And that's like such a good thing. I think that idols now are real realizing like shit like i don't have to deal with this in order to for my dream to become reality basically so just like the like yunjin saying how like she wants to change like the industry i think that a lot of idols are thinking that way as well Mm -hmm. and it's good because like these companies need to learn like you can't just Mm -hmm. you know treat them like shit and then expect them to do all these things for you and then not get like Mm -hmm. rewarded you know paid like come on now Mm -hmm. facts respect it It reminds me it's it's giving you know when like your friend has been in like a shitty relationship for a really long time and then they like learn to wow oh my god wait i don't have to take this and then they leave and now they're striving like it's giving that exactly and that's what i want and also when we say like basement companies we're talking about like the like companies that put them in a basement yeah basically yeah, yeah, you know yeah. <laughs> not just like small companies because you know we love we love mystic story <laughs> we do oh my god apparently They're there's great. a rumor that lucy's having a comeback as well <laughs> so many rumors um, i'm excited the rumor there's just mail. so many things that happen i'm just spewing everything but anyways congrats to M- omega x i'm excited Woo! for them so yeah. happy and then coachella dropped their uh lineup everybody blackpink will be headlining so okay uh but <laughs> DPI- <laughs> so me <laughs> We, it's just like we, eh, at least for me, I was like, it was expected. it's expected. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So I was like, okay, cool. But who else is going to be there? So um, I thought that they were still going to do kind of like the Big Bang thing. They did not. But DPR will be there, Ian and live. Period. Um, Jackson Wang is also going to be attending. Porter Robinson is going to be there. Bad Bunny <laughs> is headlining the first Latino. Bad Bunny is hey. headline Coachella. Let's go. Yes. Oh, so I, I wish I could go. It's for so bad it's so expensive yeah bring back normal people prices please thank you we're in a recession about well about to be i guess i guess technically not in stop but. that's like with k-pop tickets like why the hell was Girl, people don't paying even, for five hundred dollars no. for like cix or something like <laughs> cats like me i am people and i am mad (laughs) and i well and i get it like it does include what like it brings like you know like the vip experience and everything yeah but But like those are for my music taste for this fucking tour is just like the group photo and then like a poster and some photo cards that's it oh really i thought it included like a fan no oh damn what the heck so see like even that like even groups that should be touring here and their tickets should be maybe like the max should be a hundred dollars like why are y'all charging 300 bro i knew as this is why soon, nobody's going to your tour. As soon as I su- saw that CIX was with me- my music taste this tour, I was like, Ugh. I think it's going to start changing because there's been a, quite a few shows that have been either canceled or postponed and not because yeah. of COVID things because of ticket sales or like the shows just aren't selling like because the prices are too, like it's too expensive. And if all of y'all are coming at one time, we can't afford to spend $500 on eight groups. Yeah. Like, because exactly. like the venue for CIX, well, a, a lot of the venues, like the first like maybe 15 rows are all sold out but there's so many other seats like there's like yeah i saw the one for mm. i think they're going to pennsylvania right yeah, the, that venue the one is for huge. that yeah i don't know why they yep. put that many to be honest with you why didn't they just do like ga that's another thing please stop with the ga show <laughs> unless it's a small venue like but like ci i'm gonna okay cix i love cix everybody like don't ever play games with me like cix is like Fact. one of my groups yeah but they're not at that level for them to be selling 
now venues is big. Exactly. So mm-hmm. in CIX's case, I was expecting smaller theaters. Like House of Blues. Yeah, with GA. Because the show I went to in Berkeley last year, the CIX show, was a tiny venue. And it wasn't even full. So the fact that they're playing Oakland, which is basically the same city as San Francisco, Berkeley. Like, it's all the same, like area Mm -hmm. and it's like almost two times bigger than the venue was for the berkeley show i just i don't understand it's weird uh like how the thought process goes for a lot of these venues and then you have groups that do need bigger venues and they get stuck with like a a thousand max capacity when they should have a bigger one and i mean like we're seeing that even like with any ticket sales like Mm -hmm. stray kids for example their california shows when they announce the stadium that they like quote unquote sold out like in three minutes yeah but if you go back and look there's so many resale tickets because Mm -hmm. people are trying to profit Mm -hmm. off of selling their ticket that they bought for fifty dollars for 500 like it's Mm -hmm. it's ridiculous so but anyways we know k-pop is cool but i'm still tired but But i'm I'm tired tired. (laughs) okay i'm tired i think that's the problem though is that these promoters think like oh k-pop is so popular that people will just see whoever so let's just bring all these groups and like put them in these venues that they can't sell or put these put them in these small venues so we do sell out all these tickets and then it's just like yeah but not everybody likes every group like there i mean there's like us we're like we like a lot of groups right and of course i would love to go to every k-pop group that like like and flying is in the u.s right now (laughs) and i wish with every fiber of my being i could go see them but i can't like Mm -hmm. i have no like no way of going to see them if anything i feel like it's quite the opposite for k-pop like yeah it's popular and it's booming but the way that these k-pop girlies are moving they're like Mm -hmm. i yeah like i'm exclusively only an 18 yes i'm going to every damn stop they have but you will not catch me at another show like you know what i mean like yeah they're very group focused and they don't realize that yeah like some fans are only fans of like two groups and that's all they're paying to go see so if you're like thinking like oh we're just gonna like put them in these venues they'll sell out because k-pop is a thing like Mm -mm. Mm. no baby you need to know the demo and it's not like that Mm -mm. and also if you like a lot of groups and you'll prioritize who are you gonna go see exactly which makes me scared for jackson tickets because the vip packaging is chef's kiss yeah and i'm like but how much is it gonna be and you also you know like we always say like sometimes it is like venue availability too but like i -hmm. I think most of it is just the promo companies like aiming way too high but my Mm. my biggest and also so yeah my biggest problem is like okay so you can't get small uh, like venues in these major cities that you want to go to then go to other cities if you do small venues yep. in all these other cities that everyone like lives in like if you do a tiny venue in like nashville you do a tiny venue in like new orleans like people are going to go to those shows because no one ever comes there but if you do a huge venue in like california where you want the entire west coast to come to one show people aren't going to show up it makes no sense to me no i feel it we completely agree but anyway anyway we can go on on this train yeah for we can go on forever for this <laughs> So there's that. You know what? While we're talking about frustrations, another thing that happened while we were gone, everybody, RM versus Jesus that monk. <laughs> Just you saying that. What, like, the fuck? what the fuck? This was not on the bingo I card. I did not think. Not even in my wildest dream. <laughs> this is like mark. when my REM sleep is like giving me really weird dreams. This is what is happening. Never. <laughs> I never saw this coming. For anybody that doesn't know, basically, RM during his free time went to this temple and you know RM spent his yes yes spent his time at the temple like confided uh, confided in a monk and like spoke with him about like you know his thoughts and everything and uh this monk went ahead and called the press and told them come on over rm from bts was here and he told me xyz and just said it all so you know namjoon was just like damn like i i I never even thought that this would be published like yeah what like so he was just kind of taken aback like Mm -hmm. but so was everybody else like yeah because you confided in this person like who's a monk like you know hey help me out and and he just goes and tells you all your business to everybody and this, I'm like this is like, why thanks. namjoon is an atheist this is the prime example why namjoon See? is an atheist 
exactly. He was just like, damn, religion ain't got my back. Don't worry, boo. Like, it's just weird. Like, like what? Mm -hmm. Like, for what? Like, what was, what? It's not even, like, religion because, like, the, well, okay. It's, like, more, like, it's religion and spirituality all, all at once. But at the same time, it's, like, are they human? Of course. Would monks get starstruck? Probably. Shit. I would if I was a monk. Like, it's a human reaction, right? But... Even with all that set aside, it's that it goes against everything that a monk is supposed mm-hmm, to, mm-hmm. like, be about. It's about yep. seeing a human for a human, which is literally what Namjoon has been talking about in his album, in, like, yeah. all of his letters. He's just pouring his heart out about how he wants to be seen as a human being because guess what? Shocker, he is. And this monk, supposed to be all about that right monks are supposed to be like oh yeah all humans are created equal and all human lives are the same and just different wavelengths whatever right all of those things which is what probably drew him to go see a monk right in the first Mm -hmm. place and for for this monk to just go turn around and like slap him across the face basically and evade his trust evade his private life it's just goes against everything that he's supposed to stand for it goes against what a human should be i don't know that's just me but don't just go tell your business like someone's business that's wild to me yeah, yeah like because i mean I understand people are like well you know he's like he probably was excited and he wanted like i mean quote unquote okay. i don't know promotion <laughs> for his temple first of all it's a temple why are you promoting it like <laughs> mm-hmm. it's an album second of all like <laughs> Mm-hmm. Like, okay, I get that. Like, if you wanted to mention that he was there because you wanted more people to maybe check out your temple and you could talk, I don't know. Anyways, all you had to do was be like, yes, RM of BTS did come uh, <laughs> visit my temple. He's a very nice young man. We spoke. I wish him all the best in his endeavors. Mm-hmm. Boom. That's yeah, it. That's, that's, it. It. that's, that's it. it. That's it. That's it. You didn't have to be like, oh, girl. And then Let he me told tell me you. Yeah. that, oh, <laughs> and, you know, then he, like, like there was a tea. Like, sir, what? Like, that was, mm-hmm. mm, I don't know. It was just weird to me. I was like, mm, As someone who was raised, <laughs> not raised, but as someone who went to, like, Catholic school, like, when you talk to, like, someone like a, a father or, like, a monk or like what have you like whatever religion you are pastor yeah whenever you whatever religion you are when you talk to your like your highest like person of faith to god right so like your pastor your your father whatever you talk to them in confidence because you don't expect them to tell everybody what's going on no. like that's between you them and like your god right so like the fact exactly. that this person was just like oh yeah like y'all y'all want to come up to my temple let me tell y'all what happened like let, let Tell you like direct it. quotes like not even yeah. paraphrasing like direct he quotes. said this this and he said this yeah he but went back to the temple and wrote it down he recorded literally it. he had a recorder in his pocket. like at what point is it just like too much like it's too much for this man not a member of bts this man kim nam Joon, to go to this temple confide in this person a faith of spirituality and say hey like this is what i'm going through this is what's going on do you have any advice for me for that man to give it not only give this man advice but then tell everyone everyone not even just like oh yeah like i'm gonna tell like my homies like the other monks you know at the, at the temple no happened. a whole ass article no a whole ass whole article. or article with a picture like your face like everyone knows who you are now <laughs> a whole ass article with a picture of your face with the fucking people like sitting down at the monastery like what like what is like why just why i just don't understand like y'all said he could have just been like yeah rm was at my temple like come visit a member of bts has been here like come pray like let's go like open your spirituality and it's just like i don't know it's weird it's so weird so weird it is it was really weird to read about that Yeah, it's like when you know thai idols go back to thailand and they go back to like the buddhist temples like that their families and stuff pray that it's like if the buddhist monks were like oh yeah bam bam let me tell you (laughs) he was here let Let me tell tell you why he told me let me tell you (laughs) like it's it's just just odd it's just an odd thing as a person of that stature like you're supposed to be like the spiritual 
like awakening for people like you're supposed to be there for them mentally and spiritually and to guide them in life to just be like oh yeah well let me tell you he's struggling y'all he's going through it so for me it was just mostly sad to see that because yeah. it's like it just gives them gives them another give more reason. trust issues yeah mm-hmm. exactly like they've talked about not just namjoon but like all of bts have talked about how like people don't want to befriend them and they don't want to approach them because they're scared about because they're so freaking like popular and whatever i'll be your bestie namjoon i got you bro i won't tell no yeah, exactly. and, and they said it like how they don't know who to trust because they don't know who's there because of who they are or just like as a, a quote-unquote you know like famous person or if they're there because they genuinely care for them as a person like as a human being it's like hey i'm your friend you know so yeah. it's just it's sad and like at least for us like we say this a lot in the sense of like we don't get to see bts interact with other idol friends that they have a lot now like you know we we're like i'm always screaming like give me got bank 10 again like you know like it's been like years. Mm-hmm. it's been years since we got an interaction with them and like there are other idol friends be- and it's probably because of that like well you get you know people coming at them like you're only using them because they're famous and i'm like bitch this is why your idols that lonely because you keep coming at them for this Bro, shit this is why listen that's why we had a mental breakdown at the j yeah. listening party oh, yeah. Like, yeah. All the, we were like mm-hmm. oh, oh, oh my god I love yeah, we were like oh my god seeing all of those people and i'm just i see i knew it i knew that we're still friends it's just they have to be low we were like excited puppies Facts. we were like oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> our tails were wagging we were going crazy we we're like holy shit holy shit is that simon dominic with j-hope we're like oh my god we were like yeah so it out. It sucks. It sucks for, like, the people that want to see them happy, to see them have to suppress, like, yep. their friendships and, like, anything like that in the in the public eye because of what others might say. So, again, it's like that trusting issue comes up again. Mm-hmm. Namjoon, listen to me right now. You know what? I'm going to be real with you. Namjoon, if you want to be my best, you want to be my best friend, that's fine. The only place our conversation is going to go, I'm going to be real with you, is my group chat with the bitches that are in this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only and maybe my mom those are the only people that gonna know i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not gonna lie to you and tell you that i'm never gonna tell anybody because like we got we have what we call a circle of trust so like my circle of trust and your circle of trust can like be trusty together like you can tell my tea to like your circle of trust and then i'll tell your tea to my circle of trust but just know that like the tea won't go out of the circle of how trust. about it we just merge okay. both circles of trust together look at that yeah yeah like she wow. said i might both. tell my mom but my mom honestly would not care <laughs> but anyways we really hope that like this never happens again because like it was wild. some bullshit yeah it was wild to read about this i was just like i, I never saw this one coming what like other fucking universe that i stumble upon when i read that i was like what, what? uh what Girl. and who I mean, listen, people are learning how to quant- quantum jump and shit, so, you know. Oh my God. Which is the multiverse of madness. We, yep. we and Doctor Strange right now. We exactly. I still don't understand what they mean by that, but, like, also, I haven't, like, looked into it. I'm, like, on my own spiritual journey, but, like, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm on a different path. <laughs> what, quantum jumping? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, whatever y'all want to do with your, with your path, that's cool. That's just going to a different dimension. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, it's just, like, you in a different universe. So, like, like, oh! Yeah. Oh, that. There's an idea that like we exist in multiple universes, right? And oh, so, the parallel like, universe theory. Yeah, and that's why yeah, there. And that's why some people. That's why you have like the Mandela effect, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's mm-hmm. why some people wake up and they're just like, "This isn't my real. Like it wasn't my reality. Like because my life was like X Y Z, and now it's like you know A B C." And they realized that they jumped dimensions. But anyways, uh, this wow. podcast has changed from K-pop. Oh my God. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just like, damn, not a couple, like a couple months ago, I realized I was disassociated most of my life. So like, thankfully, <laughs> I did not jump to no other universe, but I did wake up in this one. So, exactly. You know. <laughs> so, but yeah, <laughs> we're about to change. Not your average fangirls. Oh yeah, and it's not about K-pop anymore. <laughs> we're talking theory. It's about the multiverse. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we can talk about it all because guess what in k-pop there are universes so (laughs) oh you're right well Mm -hmm. you know what let's jump right in to our comebacks and yes we have a lot so we are gonna uh quick fire through a couple things and talking about universes we have the sm universe um so (laughs) smcu did the 
their Christmas SMCU Palace album. It dropped through obviously Christmas. There's pops all around. Um, hot and cold is that bitch. Um, <laughs> Kai. Wow. And then uh, I think they have a song, the live one. Um, Good to be alive. That gave me big old Navy commercial song. I love it. <laughs> no, there was that one song. There's that one song, too, with Changmin and Winter and Taeyeon. Oh. Priorities, right? Yes. Oh, God, yes. that song. Woo! The performance was so awkward, though. Yeah. <laughs> it, was the, the, it was the mom and the dad fighting over the custody, fighting you custody, know? Yeah. And Winter out here like, I'm the priority, bitch. Please. It was funny. <laughs> it was good, though. It was a yeah. great time. A great album. Please check it out. Great performances. Love that. Um, Stray Kids also uh, released their replay. Bops everywhere, everybody. Dear God, Sona's that bitch. They have the all the solo songs. We finally got... Bro, the um, switch up between the songs was funny. Uh, that, oh, yo. Wild. When they play, uh, what was it? It was just like Love Stay, and then it changed to Zone. I was like, how dare y'all do that? How dare y'all do that right wild. after the other? That was a wild transition. Bro, back down top is that bitch. Thank you. You're right. <laughs> I'm just so happy they're finally on streaming services because you know how hard it is to try to go to Dan YouTube and leave the YouTube app open because I don't pay yep. for it. So, <laughs> yep. so you can listen to these songs. My God. <laughs> but yeah, now they're there. Same with um, Drive, bitch. Drive. drive. The studio version of Drive? <laughs> what? Finally. <laughs> also, I have beef with Bang Chan yet again because he said that Connected was about Wi-Fi and we all looked at him like, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> maybe. Okay. Please. Mm-hmm. He, mm-hmm. just like Drive is about driving. All right, Bang Chan, got you. Sure, Jan. So, uh, yeah, very good everywhere. Amazing album. 17's Vernon also dropped his uh, 13 tape solo with <sighs> Black Eye. Bruh, is he okay? Bruh. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I really don't know. Like, you know. good, bro? I was like, the lyrics? Uh, did I miss something? I think he's like the punk kid in the group, you know, like the one that's just like, I hate this. I hate mom. it. I he hate literally it. said, hold up, but we literally put, he said, put a muzzle on me, I'll spit in your mouth. I, I was said, like, no, sir. I took a bit for me to register. I, I was it. like, wait, did he just say that? And I had to rewind it. And then I was like, damn, he did. <laughs> He's in his machine gun Kelly era, and I hate he it. Looked, <laughs> he looked good. He sound good. I hate, so. it. I hate it. Even the way he's singing, I'm just like, I'm, sir, I hate damn. it. I, I like it's it. It's not for me. It's no. very Vernon. I love no. it. No. I, I like it if I don't listen to the words. Like if I'm just like Yeah, me too, me too. To <laughs> Where I'm fine. just like, what's that? Don't know that. I just know the <laughs> instrumental. Drop the Got instrumental it. key. So the in- <laughs> Bro, I love the instruments. That's what it is. Yeah, no, I like it. I was just like, yeah, but my, my worst behavior, you, yeah, go crazy. I was like, do whatever you want. Like, but I love I just, 17. I can't, I can't take, it, maybe it's because I just can't take Vernon seriously. Vernon. Like, <laughs> maybe, Vernon. <laughs> Vernon. Uh-huh. Bro. Uh, pull up on your wax. So that it kinda, you know, you know like, what this reminds me of? It reminds me of Mark from God 7. Because I was bro, like, what damn. is going on here, y'all? Like, I know you guys have it hard. I'm not like, I'm not saying you guys don't but like are you guys good you okay okay but like know. mark we me and mark were just crying in the corner vernon's like spitting at people yeah yeah like, we yeah, got yeah. It, like knocking over trash cans and hitting people's mailboxes with bats like i just need <laughs> he's you angry. In his angry white boy era he that's is what yeah. he's in, right? that's what it is yeah he letting yeah. that out you know what it's okay let that shit out now no express yourself it's great i just thought it was like funny i'm like vernon yeah okay at home? <laughs> i was laughing the whole time but i was like angsty vernon you know it's it's a take but like <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit. If, if that's how you want to do your solo, then baby, go love at it. Love it. Yeah, I love that. Go you. the fuck at it. He looks great, though. He <laughs> does look great. So yeah, we yeah. love that for him. Mm-hmm. My man, Yu Gyam, released Ponytail, everybody. <laughs> mm-hmm. ah! Her man. Her man. Listen! Mm-hmm. Her man today. Ooh, he- <laughs> <laughs> <'Cause Mark's laughs> he's having a comeback, so now he's her man. Her man until <laughs> March when she sees Chad. I hate y'all. But um, <laughs> my baby's so fine. Um, he did so well. I love this. Um, Sick K, you know, Yu Gyam is out here. I like his pants. Yu Gyam was all out here, like, you know. I love the way however you look and then Sick K comes in here like, damn, yeah, imagine me pulling your ponytail. And I was like, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> Why you gotta exactly. be like that? Look, leave my <laughs> cousin alone. He was really excited about his verse on here because he called my mom and was like, auntie, can you braid my hair? And she's like, I get it. <laughs> he was really excited. So leave him alone. Yeah. He had to put his own spin on he it. He tried his best. He did, he did great though. The the song's a pop. I love it. I love that TK is in the song. It goes with it. And I I, Yu-Gi-Oh, damn, he looks so I good. I will not lie to y'all. I had to click off at one point though because I was like, okay, that's enough of the song. <laughs> <laughs> 
you know, I'm not even gonna lie. This is not my favorite that he's put out. But oh, yeah, did no. I still enjoy it? Yeah, that. Sh- ooh. Yeah, like he sounds him. great. You know, he's doing his thing. But I was just like, all right, that's. Enough. I can't wait for Sick K to go on tour. That man is the ugliest, finest man I ever met. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's so. It it's his true. fucking aura, bro. It's always that. Like, if you gaslight yourself into thinking that you're hot, you will be hot. The thing is, like. Okay, so here's a, I know this is about Yu-Gi-Oh, but let me talk about my man real quick. This is the thing about Sick K, right? It's like he's like it's like Ready. Okay, if you guys don't know who Ready is, Ready is also a rapper, but uh, low key a black man. No, Ready is also Ready. Yeah, yeah that's that's my cousin too, but on my daddy's side. <laughs> like, Ready and Sick K are the same genre of man, right? Where they just like they don't look Korean. Like, they do not look like Korean men. And I'm, like, it's not a bad thing, but it's also not a good thing. But it's just, like, one of those things where it's, like, they can pull it off. Does that make sense? Does that, yeah. Is that bad yeah. to say? Like, to me, Reddy, Reddy looks like, like, Reddy looked like a black, like, Reddy got something in him. He, that man, yeah. he got some, he got some legs. Somebody was creeping with somebody and they just don't want it to come out. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like normal. Cousin Sid K on my mama's side, he like a quarter black and he likes to use that. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that yeah, just fills yeah. his ego. Mm-hmm. He goes to the club. He's like, it's okay, cool. Because, you know, like my my grandpa is like a third black. So it's cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But it works for him because you know he just pulls up his ancestry, like his D, like his ancestry.com <laughs> DNA chart. He just got That's his lock ready. screen. Yeah, to be like I can do this because, and he shows where it's like two percent Nigerian. And he says, "See, look at that, right there." <laughs> right there. It's like Terika and her two percent white, right? <laughs> Ooh, that, oh my god! It, it updated, y'all. It updated your girl. Your girl oh. is like girl. Your girl. If you add up all the white countries. She's like a solid fourteen, oh. and I'll oh, oh. where where fourteen percent privilege. I gotta recount bitch. though. I gotta recount it, but I think it was like at least thirty. Cause I'm yeah, cause I'm already I'm eight percent German, <laughs> so that's already half period. Uh-huh. My cousin Terika, <laughs> yeah, we love CK, and if I could go for free to his little whatever he's having, I'll go. Yeah, I'm going to his tour. He's coming to Seattle, so I'll be I there. Love that for you. So fine, and I need to see him. He's like, I love seeing him live. He's so cute. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> no, but I let me not because he is good live. <laughs> like that man and his music bomb too. Okay, but anyways, but <laughs> we could go on at this mode at this point. Anyway, Yu Gi Oh was great. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Yu Gi Oh, you were great, but like Sike really stole the show for me because <laughs> yes, I love his pants. I know I said that already, but I love it. I love the pants. Sike just knows how to like come into every song and every verse and make it sexual and then dip for no reason. <laughs> yeah, we could just friend. be talking about gumdrops and sunshine and rainbows and he'll find a way to make it an innuendo but it's, yeah, yeah that's mm-hmm, what he did mm-hmm. here that's why i was like be like yeah it's so hot take off and clothes. that's his niche that's his niche it know? is he really goes for it the thing is that when i read that the song was gonna be called ponytail it's like oh is this gonna be about that and then you get like no it's not but zik made it about that he and was i was like, like yes, i knew it, it. Is. i knew it was gonna be in there somewhere he said, maybe he said to you it's not but to me <laughs> yeah to me <laughs> this song is about that so. <laughs> he's like oh i i read the song the song notes wrong <laughs> yep. like oh my bad exactly. this was a different ponytail my bad it works though doesn't it sound good? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, I will say also that I wish that the backup dancers were styled different. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, my God. Same. Yeah, same. <laughs> it's like, this is I lazy. <laughs> Here we are, though. Um, Jackson Wang also came back with YYY, and Jackson is still in his emo era. He is. But the MV was funny, though. <laughs> Bro, the shots were so cool, though. Can't it really was. Liked it. Good Lord. His little, like, he was just a grass d- man. Grass tree thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm a tree. Was he a bush? One of the two. Yeah, it was a bush. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. He had leaves on him. He was some. Yeah. He was, he was green. But yeah, but I thought that, the, yeah, this was just funny to watch. But he's still in his emo era. So, but anyways, go see Jackson on tour, everybody. Thank Woo! you. Um, <laughs> NCT Dream released while we were gone. Candy <laughs> and graduation. I know that Terika probably cried. And, oh my God, I cried. And I was about to just say Kat probably did too. The way that every time that graduation MV would pop up on my, like, playing yeah. next and the way yeah. I would instantly close my computer and walk away. I didn't watch. <laughs> I only watched it like a few days before I left to go to the uh, One Two Seven concert. Like I, I had refused. I was like, no, because when I got the notification, I was just like, not this bullshit, not today, not today. And then I finally watched it and sobbed like a child. Aw, <laughs> they're just so cute. 
It was very emotional. Like they gave you candy and it's like super cute. Like, you know, hey, look at us. Like, and then they drop graduation. Like here is a look back at all of our years. Together. Oh my God. You know what's funny is that, okay, I didn't want to kill myself watching candy. So, you know, that's great. Um, Cause it was like cute, but like not overly cute where I want to throw up. And also I would like to say that the shot of the little kid with heart eyes was me with Mark Lee. Anyway. Oh, cute. Marcus. <laughs> and in graduation, um, I was literally, the way I said out loud, I'm sure that Terika and Kat were crying. And the entire time I was laughing because I was like, oh my God, they look so funny. <laughs> so no, little, they're so bro. cute. And it's like, it's so just, a, and it's the ending part too. Cause like, it's just showing like all the like yeah. happy time. Like it's just showing like behind the yeah. scenes stuff, even when they're older, of like them just like being bros. Being and I think them. whenever I just see NCT as a whole, just being some dudes together, just like being bros. That's, like, that's the best, the most, bro. That's the most that's emotional the best. part for me. It's just like, why are you crying? Like, they're at a park. And I'm like, I know, but they're being friends. Like, <laughs> the power of like, friendship. It just shows that they really love each other. And I think that's, and then at the end, where they just leave that center chair for Mark and he walks yeah. back and he's like, it's everything's complete. And like, it's just so... I'm just makes me so happy because wow. you know they love being seven dream like they just they feel complete too and I feel so... like they they fought just as much as the they fans did. did they did for that so yeah so exactly with that last shot I was like damn they killing everybody with that last shot when when, when Mark came back and sat down I was like dang so yeah, oof, Mark Girl, his jawline just... wow like this little winter repackage gave me every emotion like ever Mm -hmm. like i was so happy with candy and also i just need to talk about jamin because candy jamin is like my favorite thing in the entire world i really can't do that little part where (laughs) she walks out (laughs) she walked away from the podcast she's like i love him i love jamin anyway and chun la and that like chanel like Puffer, yeah, visor, yeah. Chanla is everything though. That he's so funny. Did y'all hear about him going off on a fan because they called yes. his his mom? <laughs> He's like, ah, you idiot, dumbass. That's my mom. Stupid. <laughs> Stop stalking me, loser. <laughs> Yo, imagine saying that. Like, yeah, your grandma, and then somebody looks at you like, that's my mom, and you're just like, oh, oh. I, you will not see me ever again, Chandler. Do not yeah. worry. But you always like that's just the rule of the earth. You always go lower. When you see someone with like an older person, you always be like, like you know, like if you think it's like mom, their mom age, but you're not sure, you say, oh my god, is that your sister? Because of the yeah. mom, and because like, I'm like, no, it's my mom. Or if you see someone grandma age you'd be like is that your mom or your aunt you know what i mean you don't yeah yeah Yeah. even if you know that woman is you know 896 years old (laughs) you still still say that um (laughs) new jeans the girlies ditto and oh my god omg there's a lot of talk about these music videos and i i get why because i'm confused are they ghosts imaginary friends are they i think that they're imaginary friends or ghosts. either way i am bopping either way i am bopping killing it so same i was here for it omg is that song like oh my god bro that music video when they broke the fourth wall ah uh, yeah serving psych ward realness i freaking <laughs> love that though like i was just like the again I a love. lot of talk going on about the omg video because they're just like oh like the parasocial relationship and this and that and i'm just like i'm by okay them. but did y'all see how they just broke that fourth wall that shit was cool <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so <it's> cool. <laughs> they look so cute and then both, uh, well, I guess all three, because there was, like, two side, uh, like, side A and side B for the um, ditto. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's why, that's why I was just like, so, like, are they fake? Are they real? Are we in an illusion? Like, what's going on? But uh, either way. We'll find out. We'll find love out. Love these songs. They're super, both of them are super catchy. Like, they're still doing whatever they came out to do since they they, they debuted everybody. Because, take over the world. Yeah. Yeah. No matter how, they're going to take over the world. But they're doing it. And I love it. And they were in a psych ward. Like, you know, like your friends, yeah. your friends go from school to the loony place together. Yeah, that's, that's real friendship. That's yeah. real friendship, right? There. I kind of wish that they wore straight jackets for a live performance. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that would have served. Just saying. <laughs> oh, another thing I really liked. I think it was in the. It was in OMG, yeah, because it was at the end. Somebody was like commenting, like, uh, "I am very uncomfortable with this, with these topics. Like, why can't they just sing and dance?" And I'm like, "Damn, they no. even included the aunties in this bitch, like." Dang. <laughs> 
It's crazy, but new jeans. They're doing it different, okay? Since That's, debut. Please. That's what yeah. I want. I want different. I love I love when it's not just. They better be at KCON. Mm-hmm. Be- they better oh, be at KCON, KCON better bro. Better be at KCON. I need them to be at KCON. I need to do that. Hype Boy? God. Bro, Ooh. girl, that's going to go off in the States. Like, yeah. Hype Boy is going to be wild. Also, I saw on TikTok that people were, like, going nuts over, like, the choreography for, um, oh, my God. Like, OMG. Like, they're just, like like oh my god what like what what move is this i'm like y'all know we was doing this in the teen yep. clubs right like they they were cat yep. daddy and they were harlem shaking and they did a modified chicken yep. i don't know <laughs> why y'all act like these are brand new never before seen made up moves yep. like like 13 mm-hmm. year old terica was doing this shit like at the school dance like with the room for jesus you know because you got to leave enough room yep. for jesus when you're dancing <laughs> but like i was like <laughs> I was like, I'm supporting this 100, percent but like, I'm I'm gonna just start a whole TikTok just based on this because I'm so tired of the views talking about some. Oh my god, I heard that in the old days they used to wear butterfly <laughs> clips. I'm like, girl, I am not see, like I'm not 805. Like I'm a yeah. I'm a smooth 10 years older than you. Get out. Somebody <laughs> said that the yeah, like the the younger like kids in elementary school, they're just like yeah, cause y'all are from the late 1900s, and I'm like whoa, what? like excuse me, <laughs> whoa what? now, yeah. it's getting ridiculous here. <laughs> y'all just repeating the stuff we did. Like when I came by and I was just like, oh, like yeah, like I I had a holographic version of that card, Miss. You know Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually Bitch. asking you that. Like excuse me. Like Pokemon before we were kids. Yeah, like I'm the OG fan, you little bitch. There's a reason why Ashton Ketchum is retiring from being 10 now. Facts. Okay? There's a reason. Because he's been 10 since 1999, probably. He had to cosplay like, as a 10-year-old for until he could turn 30. And then they were like, okay, we can't pull this off anymore. <laughs> It's just funny. It's funny to see all of this happening, and I'm just like, yeah. So, so y'all, so, so y'all need to be educated because this is this is old news. It's just that it's coming back. Thank you. Also, by the way, I would like to say that back to Ditto. Um, the cinematography, wow, amazing. Also, the side A you, uh, music video kind of scared me because it started like a horror film. It did, right? <laughs> that's 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 i think what i really like about new jeans like it does they do bring up a lot of like eerie like yeah like it's eerie but they do bring up a lot of like controversial ideas into it Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. when you're like you know like you aren't thinking about that (laughs) shit i am i'm like damn that's kind of dark bad I'm right, but it. you vibing, but you vibing, yeah. and that's that's the important part. Somebody that did go uh, into the dark, the sexy <laughs> dark, um, crazy scientist era, Moonbin <laughs> and Sana came back with madness. I just want to say that they are starting off the year with this crazy look in their eyes, and I love that for <laughs> them. I love that for us as well. And also, Carolina, they're not scientists; they're perfumers. Thank you. Oh, per- oh I'm sorry. That's still no. a form of science. <laughs> they're perfumers. <laughs> it's funny because I say that because they did an interview and somebody said that to Sana or I think it was this show interview interview that they did with Sami and then they were like oh or so you guys like scientists or something and Sana said we're perfumers probably <laughs> <laughs> oh, looked at her like they're stupid <laughs> like no ma'am this is a different thing okay um also did y'all see that clip of the fanboy that was because they were giving away like iced coffee but it's like cold outside so they were just like sorry like there's only ice like drinks and the fanboy was just like it's okay because you're hot enough and Santa was like ah! And started singing Hello. back to him. I love that. Oh, Aww. my baby. I approve of that because that's kind of cute. I also approve of this music video because it's not as slutty. So he's not <laughs> as influenced <laughs> by that man that should not be named. <laughs> Moon <Moonman. laughs> Woo! You're right. Oh, I also really like the shots and the transitions while they danced. Ooh, yeah. So good. This music video was just so pretty, too. It was pretty like, beautiful. Just seeing I everything all come, come together like that. And the bass in this, co- like, the, the song. song is great. Mm-hmm. And, well, and the chorus, more specifically, like, that shit had like, me Like, they are like, such an underrated unit. They're so fucking good together. They are. They're so good. Support my baby. He's talented. Yeah, like, they're oh. so good together. And Sana looks great. This hairstyle on him is, like, mm-hmm. wow, 10 out of 10. My little cousin is like falling Oof. slowly in love with him, so like good. Oh, I love Kill. that. So her to submit her resume to me, I have to check it out. Who would have thought like when Astro never girl, it? never in my life. Like 
like I just I think about that all the time. I'm just like, damn. Like, you know the crazy thing is, is like I've been on a astro kick. Spoiler for my song of the week. I've been on an astro kick, right? And so I was thinking about the drama that they did, like their JV drama. So I oh, went God. to go watch it, and like they look so fucking different. It looks so My different. So, so little. They're so. I also go back and listen to them whenever this unit has a comeback. I always just go back to like. Girl, <laughs> to listen I love to it. Astro. And then I think yeah. about how many times I've seen Astro Life, and I'm like, damn, <laughs> I've seen them a lot. Actually. Yeah, hella times. Yeah. But yeah, this song is great. The visuals are beautiful. It kind of reminded me of The Census by Vix, which you know I love, like the visuals of it, not like the actual song. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. It was great. Like taking a yeah, take that blowtorch to the iced flowers. Like yeah, because it makes sense. Do <laughs> like, it. Like come on. Uh, but no, it sounded so good. And Sana's vocals in this were. <laughs> oh, stop. Ats also oh, came back oh. with Halasia. Yeah. Wow. The, the crazy motherfuckers that they are. The way I love this song. Same. Yeah. Same. As Lady Gaga. No, as, as Lady Gaga says, the beat is sick. As a DJ girl. Also approved, please. Thank you. You right? The dubstep mm. breakdown. The the breakdown Bro, at the end. The oh, the dubstep. But I was I was going crazy. Like I remember, like my eighties group chat going crazy, and one of them is just like, "Damn!" Like you know, like I don't listen to EDM, so I, the last bit, I was like, "What?" And I was just like, "The last bit is the best thing." Like I don't understand mm-hmm. what you're talking about. Like mm-hmm. the way that they incorporated that into it. Oh, beautiful. Like they beautiful. Oh, they look so damn good. Right. Like the styling, then no, bro. The close up of uh, Songwa with dancing, and then San oh. appeared like the Diablo that he fucking is. It's scared. <laughs> yeah. I screamed. I was like, ah! it's just, oh, it's so good. The, the scene with Hong Jun with the <sighs> mic, with the mic thing, like, yeah. God. They are There's just There's just so many things. Okay? First of all, and also the beginning where they're in, like, the cloaks, and then the choreo pulls the cloaks away, and a it's cult. just, like, them. And <laughs> you're just like, wow. Like, you guys are so beautiful. Like, amazing. I will say, this is the first time I'll... First and only time I'll probably ever say this. I love Woo Young with this red hair. Wow. <laughs> I'm not saying a he lot. Looks he looks good. good. But it's also because his Arms. skin is beautiful. That's true. Mm-hmm. I can't do it with, like, when the people are pale and then they have the red hair. I just can't do that. But with this, like, melanin that he... Oof. Anyway, but it's great. But also, I need to talk about Yunho because... You're right. Not only in the NB, <laughs> but I've been watching the live stages like nobody's business. And he... <laughs> <laughs> he looks good that man is something i feel like after this tour the tour like that they just had in the usa after that we saw we saw the transition of Yunho being shy and shy and then it just as the shows progressed he was just like going all out he saw how people reacted to mingi he said like, i want that yep and he did it <laughs> he did it too and now here he is oh he is tall dark and handsome we Speaking love him speaking of mingi <laughs> so his fine. hair this hair oh my god fire it's so good and then the thing okay like just me being the marketing nerd props to their marketing team because they when they dropped that one video in the middle of the night and it was a video of just like that water and with the stairs it it was nothing else that video was live for like 30 minutes and everybody was watching like millions of people just watching it because little hints were coming up left and right but you had to catch them right Mm. like that is genius you had all of a teeny coming up with theories coming up with ideas Ideas, coming up with like random shit like how does this relate to their story how does this that like what just watching this damn video of nothing basically like it was genius incredible i they are doing fan engagement right and they deserve everything that comes their way thank you yeah their team is great also i wasn't yeah. done talking about mingy's hair because the fact that he literally mentioned <laughs> Stop! The fact that he literally mentioned Rengoku when talking about it, and he said that my hair is like this because of my favorite anime character, and I was just like in tears. (laughs) <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. that's how i knew we were meant to be <laughs> i was like that's that's how i knew because i went through a whole mourning period yes because i'm i'm planning oh out God. a rengoku tattoo to go behind period. my ear so i was just like mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm. that's my boyfriend for real y'all <laughs> <laughs> but no i had an emotional breakdown when that the clip from that interview showed up on my timeline and i was like nah he didn't i was like don't lie to me like this i was like don't lie to oh me. my god and there he was talking about it and i was like <laughs> 
Stop. What I really love about ATs is that they're not afraid to be nerds yep, and like it. in front of the world. Cause Songwa literally did a live where he he stopped talking at one point, building a Star yep. Wars yep. Lego set. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. And he Same. was literally not he was not interacting with nobody. He was building his shit in silence, but people still watched. Uh, I'm like, I you're right. Me yeah. too. I would see this hot ass man build shit. Yeah, it's like me. I'd be begging <laughs> to for Wangwoo to do a V live of him just like reading. Like I would watch it. Right. But no, this song. Song, this song amazing this melody that like ha, la, 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 la. that yes. shit like Bro, so that shit in the, just in the back of my mind it just creeps up every once in a while it's like yeah yep. it just gets stuck in your head yeah and it's like such a quote-unquote simple chorus mm-hmm. because that's like literally it but like the way that that oh, song it's the delivery the way that he delivers yeah yeah, yeah. That he delivers Bro, that God. he no he hypnotizes you with it mm-hmm. like yeah. he's looking at the camera and i'm like don't fucking look at me like a snake Right and now. like he look the way that he looks and like he rolls his yeah. eyes back just that little uh, bit like oh stop. it's <laughs> subliminal Four messaging months. someone play it backwards real quick and see what it really right. says <laughs> yeah he's like come over if if Drop this was the 90s in like the you know the hispanic like the latino countries and the latino community they'd be like that's that's the demonio that is I to- duh, San yeah is. yeah oh i duh. mean yeah. <laughs> That is nope. Lucifer reincarnated. Yep, they'd be like, Lucifer you can't... was beautiful. Just saying. Well, right? there we go. That's... An angel, a dropped angel or whatever. Not a dropped angel. <laughs> <laughs> he fell. <laughs> a drop. Also, um, they were serving looks, including the scarecrow, so. <laughs> right? They just look good. The choreo is good. The Wusan part was incredible. Just mm-hmm. somewhat all, like, throughout the whole thing, ridiculous. A jungle, like, Vocals. Your son? Yes. Okay, first oh of all, God. proud of him for embracing. Because as a member of the Face Birthmark Club, yes, after, yeah, at first you're kind of like self conscious about it, but like I'm so glad that he's embracing it and realizing yep. that he's beautiful. So there's that, and that so many fans are telling him that they're just like, we love to see it. He's just like, oh, really? And then everybody's just like, yeah, dude, the hell you mean? Like, don't hide it, leave it alone. Yeah, it's just because when you're little, you get made fun of it. Yep. I know. Yeah. I feel your pain, bro. But you know, it's fine. It makes us unique. Also, I love that they made uh, your song sing in his like his norm like his uh, normal, normal tone. tone. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah, like his voice is so deep. Like he was oh, killed it, mm-hmm. killed it. We love it. Anyways, uh, but there's just so many uh, questions left um, about this because, like, did Halatees die? Like, are they Halatees? Are they, you know what? It's fine. I'm never going to understand the world. I'm just here enjoying it. And that's what matters. Yeah, I'm tapped out. Not to be that person, but, like, BTS exhausted me for enough lifetimes. I, <laughs> Same. I embrace the universes, and I think they're hella cool from all the groups who are doing different universes. I Brilliant, amazing. I love the story, amazing. but I can't, I can't. Be I'm just deep. enjoying it yeah. at this point. Yeah. yeah, especially because we were, like, in the midst of it when, like, the universe was still being built. So it was, like, damn, I really, wow. We used all of our brain power. We, like, read the books. Wow. <laughs> they really, they really Everything. Did, yep. They did, I yeah. Was, they yeah, did. I was chilling. I was like, oh. <laughs> it's y'all we gave them the spark notes. Now. Like, now me and Cynthia, we put in the work for that. Now y'all got to put in the work for ATs. Uh, oh, yeah. Girl, too bad. Because yeah, so you're <laughs> never going to know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I asked the 80s group chat, I'm like, okay, so like, what does this mean? And then they tell me, and I'm like, beautiful. Love that. <laughs> Bitch, I like, still don't understand. With spring day with like the shoes, I was like, oh, someone's dead. That's why. That's crazy. <laughs> 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 Like, oh my god! The like the day. theories are cool. Like it's fun. Yep, it's fun. And, like it's. But I cool don't to like. I, I don't come up with my own. Yeah, I don't come up with my own. Like I'm just like, oh, that's so wow. The crazy thing is that like the whole theory and like storyline for eighties is so big that basically like they went on like Insta like Q and A and they started answering questions and also then Hong Joon went on live and explained. Yeah, girl, shit. I just love that. I I know the timeline. I know the timeline of ATs' comebacks, but I don't know like the the the, the, the I don't know the shit. I, exactly. I, I'm just here. I'm enjoying the ride. I'm enjoying the visuals. I'm like saying like pull the globe with some chains. Like that's wild. Like that's, that's dope. <laughs> that's cool. Like when that when that moon fell on Sun yeah. and it just disappeared. I was like, so what happened? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, is it not real? Is everything fake? Like, what's going on? Are we in a dimension? Yeah. Like, I was like, is this a dream? Like, <laughs> is this reality? It's like, what is happening? Like, that's as far as my knowledge goes. And then I'm just like, someone tells me or I read something and I'm like, whoa. 
and then like that's it. I'll crazy. It. I forget it. Like right <laughs> then. And I was like, Whoa, well, that's wild. It's messy. And then I'll forget about it. And then the next comeback will go will come and then I'll be like, What's happening? And then I'm like, Oh right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Wavy also came back oh. with Phantom after forever, finally. They Sorry. did that. This is so good. I love that they did what is like Phantom of the Opera type of shit. Like, Game of Thronesy, mm. like Gothic Victorian vibes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yang. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. He left no crumbs. He ate. I want him. I want him something bad. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. It's they fine. look good, bro. Like, I I didn't realize how much, like, I miss Wavy until I was watching that music video. And I'm like, damn. Bro. Yeah. See, this is this is why I'm fighting. I'm fighting everybody for those tickets when Wavy tour I don't even want to okay? think about it. It's going to be. I literally screamed when I saw Win Win. I can't even lie. Girl, and he had lines? Oh, yeah. He had yeah. lines. I screamed too. I was like, oh my God. He said more than woo. I love that. <laughs> my whole body like, shivered. The styling of this is on point. Like Cynthia it's was so saying, good. like the gothic look, like the, the ring the things that they had going on. Like, mm, my cool. God. Mm. 10 with a tummy. Like, wow. 10 always the showing eyeballs, skin. I love this for me. Eyeballs. Like, uh, and the thing is that, okay, so the song had to grow on me a little bit. I love the the rest of the album. I really fucking like it. Mm. But this song specifically, like, I listened to, it the f- listened to it the first time. I was like, uh, okay. But then it was like the third time. I'm like, JK, like, this is a bop. So yeah. I fucking loved it now. But it's it was definitely a grower for me. But it just, it suits them so fucking well. Like, mm-hmm. every time. They just do that sexy, sultry. Yes. God. The intro with Yang Yang and Hendry, like that first verse, I was just like, oh, that's it. I was like, okay. <laughs> that's it. That is, I'm done. I'm done. That's it. It's so good. Even the editing for this music video was sexy. Like the way everything was just over it. I'm just like, wavy, you are just. You with I like the you. nail Venice. things that they had, like the little yes. covers on it. I those are so cool. I know. Oh, yes. wow. And the performance mm-hmm. video, I don't know if y'all have watched it, but Jesus Christ. Shao Jun's high notes, like it was just a lot. And Kuhn looks, Kuhn looks mm-hmm. yeah. good this era. I saw he said he's mm-hmm. ready. He's like, I'm ready to come back. It's my time. Kuhn y'all haven't seen my wild. face in a minute. It's my time. Kuhn is wild. <sighs> he's like, a busy man. What can I say? Man. He like he, he yeah. He, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what made me sad though is apparently like they had to rework this song like five or six times and like it took forever for them to release it because I who was it one of them like went on bubble and said something I think it might have been Yang Yang mm-hmm. and how Yang like Yang. it took for yeah he, he's <laughs> like I'm telling y'all all the, tea. all the tea um so he was saying how like it took forever for them to finally release the song the dates kept being pushed back and yeah. pushed back and then when finally they had that date that whole thing like in China happened where they had to push back push it back again and like it was this whole ordeal so they were just like we felt really good about the song because like so much shit kept happening that we're just like well maybe this is the song and we're just like yes and now here we are yeah because they were supposed to release this a lot earlier like around this time was supposed to be like them doing something else like but it kept getting and that's why he was so nervous like it was it was cute but also kind of sad like the day like a few hours before it dropped he was just like I'm scared because I keep thinking like is this really gonna happen I'm like oh no I know. Yeah. That's why. Justice for Wavy. I'm so sad. Also, yeah, everyone watch their weekly idol video or weekly idol episode. That shit is so funny, bro. I was in fucking tears. Yo, I saw uh, just like the dance when they did Shiny. I was just like, yeah. Not Yo, it. they look so They're serious so too. Funny. When they did that, when they did that song, like they look serious. They were just like, they know that it, they fucked us. They this is a them. legacy. This is legacy. They can't fuck this up. I only saw the clip of them <laughs> dancing to Espa. Oh, girl. Henry was <laughs> so ki- fucking funny killed that in that episode, too. bro. He had me in literal tears. Like, I was, like, crying. Like, he is so... Oh, Yang Yang? No, Henry. Henry, oh, he's a right. hot mess. <laughs> My other man, he a hot mess. He's so fucking funny. I'm never gonna forget when they described Henry and Jaehyun, and they were just like, Jaehyun is a dork, but he is so hot that you forget. And then, like, with Henry, it was just like, no, no, the, the opposite, the opposite yeah no. it's no, hindery it is like hindery that. is so weird that you forget that he's handsome and jay yes. so handsome that you forget that he's weird as fool yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
anyways, yeah. Can't wait for this wavy tour so we can all see wavy. Wow. Ah, oh, exciting. Is that really happening? I'm confused. Yeah. Yeah, it is. They, they're yeah, having a global, is. They haven't announced dates or anything, but they're having a global fan meet. So usually when mm-hmm. they say global, we'll at least get one stop one here. Show, yeah. In exactly. <laughs> in LA? Yeah. Probably. LA, Somewhere. York, maybe. <laughs> Talking about sexy, Monster X also came back with Beautiful Liar, and they said guitar galore, everybody. <laughs> I was shook when i same heard song i was, I was not like, expecting wait, that yeah it was like you know electric guitar right at the beginning i was like whoa what just happened but in um in other news i am as a menace uh and uh we, we've been known that this is not my favorite monta x song this is eh, this was eh, for me yeah same they look great but this was i feel eh, it for me i feel it <laughs> I really like, like, the instrumental and, like, the melody and all that for it. But I agree, like, it's not one of my faves. But it's but I also did enjoy it. I enjoyed it a lot. I really love the grunginess of it. And they just, Young you know, maybe though. I was distracted mm. looking at Juhani. Always. Always looking at Juhani. That man is so fine. Also, they did a video. Okay, so they did a... Now there's, like, a... Uh, they're doing content that's, like, with fans. Oh, yeah. So they're, yep. like, typing up. Like, they're in a group chat together. Yo, the fan literally said, oh, yep. I can't do this anymore. I love Juhani so much, and I'm in love with him, and I am sad because I know that I can't, I can never Dang. have him. Like, she, she literally was just like, I know that I will never have him, so I need to leave this mom baby life. Like, Dang. If, if you stay on my baby, yep. like, good luck to you, but yep. I can't do this, my poor heart. Yeah. And, I, and all of my, <laughs> it was her. Damn. Yeah, Juhani was reading that. He was just like, what? She was the only fan, and it was all of Monster X in the group chat with her. And she wrote that. So, like, yeah. every member of Monster X saw this whole ass paragraph she wrote about Juhan. <laughs> it was so funny. His face was Juhan hilarious. Was like, what? He was, like, reading it, like, like what the heck? Oh, my God. Did you watch that? That Oh, my God. What is that show with that really funny girl? What's her name? The one with, oh, my gosh. She did the, an episode with Jen, too. Oh, Young G. Okay, so he was on um yes. a show he was like on it and she literally like was like yeah are your fans like possessive and he's like yeah they are and then like they continued to talk a little bit and then he was possessive as fuck about the fans because she was like yeah i saw you like a clip of you guys at um at this event and you were mad and yelled at your fans for looking at other idols and he's like yeah because you're there for me only look at me dang and then <laughs> and she was like it's like home june hmm, it makes sense again. now <laughs> Literally, Hamjoon is the worst, bro. He's like, don't be looking at nobody else. I'll be like, then you don't oh, look so at hot. nobody else, bitch. That fan turned right. out really quick. She said, then you don't look at other fans. And he said, oh. <laughs> oh yeah oh yikes sorry yep. i can't do that next sf9 also came back with puzzle another house masterpiece uh with a super catchy chorus and they look incredible and i need sf9 to keep blowing the hell up because wow wow i tried to zoom in on their conspiracy board and i was just like what is <laughs> of course you did of course like, you what, did. what are y'all talking about yeah this was fucking good though i freaking love this song i love sf9 they're so I feel like they've, so they've found their niche and they're sticking to yep. it. They're just like, yep. this is us. This is our brand. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, good that like them. sexy house mm-hmm. like vibe thing they do is just so good. And Zoo... She, mm, every time uh-huh. I see him, I just think about you and I just start laughing. That verse... He, and the thing is that, like, they just, it's just like a fine man next to a fine man next to a fine man. <laughs> next you're, to a fine man next to a fine man. Next and you're to like, a fine damn. And then rolling. you realize that, like, that's not their, that's not their full potential because, like, you know, there's members that are not even there right now. So, like, damn. Like, it's crazy because, like, to think a group has like all like every member of sf9 right to think that every member of sf9 is in one group together like as one that's right? crazy because like just the power in general like you got a whole roan in your group you got a whole Yang in your group you got a whole chani in your what like mm-hmm. imagine that's wild that's wild to me i can't believe <laughs> <laughs> that's like, crazy damn. damn but yeah but they they're doing good with this like i love that they found like terica said their niche and just like went mm-hmm. with it and mm-hmm. this is fucking great it and wet. it's so good the it video so the good. visuals out of this world y'all like they're another group i'm so sad i did not i was not able to go to that tour because i would have seen teardrop live and i would have died one man that i would be game over if i finally got to see live would be taeyang from big bang everybody and he finally came back featuring jimin Yay, from bts 
Bro, he was yeah, he was naked from the get go though. I, was I like, know. The yep. <laughs> yep. Well, that that's that's him. Yeah. Yep, yep. That's him. But then he released Vibe, and this is indeed a Vibe. Oh my God, Jimin looked tall next to him. I love that for him. <laughs> 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 They're both tiny. They're both tiny. Though I would, I would like to say though that I wanted the you got the bye, babe like done twice. I just really wanted like two times in a row. Mm. You know, just I was not. I, this was not what I was expecting at all. Though, like this one's so good. I, loved it. So I good. just, so good. I, I never, I didn't. When I saw Taeyang and Jimin, I was just like, this about to be some very sexy. This like, about to be some usher. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's what I thought. <laughs> And yeah. they gave me something else, and I was like, whoa. I but I really liked it. It's not my fave by Taeyang, but it's still a very good song. And I love how Jimin shows up in this song with the, this is going to be the one, this is going to be the one, the anthem, like the one and only anthem, or whatever the hell they say. Yeah. And it's just like his silhouette. Like, it's just so dramatic the way it's like, it's like the silhouette, and then that line, and then his, he shows up, and I'm like, wow, this is very Jimin. Like, yeah. I just love I love I love that the music video is super simple, super like yeah. clean and super pretty. It's some not like dancing. overdoing it. Yeah, it's just like them dancing on like a stage. We mm-hmm. got some nudity, uh-huh. of course, mm-hmm. from our boy. Ooh. You know, he had to be naked, of course. Like that's like his vibe. Always. And like it was like, you know, his hair is slicked back. He's blonde. He was like, oh, yeah. He got the Jimmy blowout out. in one middle of the Stop. show. Like, oh. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> like, look, he was just living his life and like two tiny men just dancing. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great time showcase them it made me think like if he's that small compared to jimin i mean he's not like that much shorter than jimin but he was like shorter than jimin but like his wife is like way shorter than him and i was like what size is that bitch because she's <laughs> <really tall. laughs> so tall that's why i want they just know. tiny together and that's it their poor child I'm, i feel so sorry for that baby. i was like yeah, they're poor they're child. so little <laughs> Uh, but no, this was a good song. I like this song a lot. Me I think too. it was a lot of fun. It it wasn't like you said. It wasn't what I expected because I expected us to get some oh Marianne Usher. Yeah, and, like like that's what I thought. Rain, like, ah, ah. Exactly. But, uh, some like chest pumping. But we got like we got vibes. We got vibes. We they got were, like, vibes. Rolling their hips. Mm-hmm. They were like touching on themselves. They were like ooh baby. I was like. Oh, it was nice to hear Taeyang's voice again. I won't lie. Yeah, it was really same. nice. He, he's just so good and talented. And my birthday twin, wow. I love people born on my birthday. And oh, like, my this, God. It reiterates that I am so talented also. Like, <laughs> I love that man. The whole reason I'm in this mess. So I am ex- <laughs> I was very excited to see that he would be back. Again, not what I was expecting, but I love that it's something that was very fun. And that from what we saw, like it just came out like organically from them to do this collab mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, it makes so, sense yeah and and you know like just seeing Jimin obviously like we've seen that they've met before like that they've mm-hmm. you know been in social situations together but like actually seeing them do like a song together like imagine it was cool. like yeah mm-hmm. like maybe like Jimin from t- like five to six years ago like knowing that this would happen he'd probably be like yeah. what yeah <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah so it's just he probably would have he'd have been like yeah y'all are funny exactly <laughs> Like, like okay mm-hmm. and i'm gonna be a multi-millionaire and bts is gonna be all that like, okay. <laughs> well honey do i got news for you i got news for you baby but yeah so this, this was good it was a vibe basically like literally, literally. we were vibing and just i just love that like i love when og like k-pop idols and like the new generation of k-pop idols like blend so mm-hmm. mm-hmm. yes. it's a beautiful thing you know never forget the originators everybody okay thank you because <laughs> big bang iconic Young, iconic so yes bang 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 excuse me what was that <laughs> But anyways, y'all, that was our podcast for this week, y'all. So, yes, that was it. We're going to end this week like we do every week with our songs of the week. Um, Like I said earlier, I have been listening to a lot of Astro, specifically um, Baby, because (laughs) the way I fucking love that song. Um, I've been listening to Baby a lot and All Night. All Night is just a bop. Yes. And blue flame also oh, amazing. A bop, amazing i've also been listening to vibe i listen to vibe a lot actually this is a great song amazing listen to a lot of ats yeah i'll just say halazea for the lols 
also went back to like the Utopia area because I love that song. Mm-hmm. Um, and just Hong Joon looked great in Hell is Eight. I'll just Her. also this has nothing to do with uh, my songs of the week, but if anyone watched Singles Inferno, come talk to me about it in my DMs. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, my songs of the week, I have been listening to a lot of been hyping. Yes, they make such good music, of course, but I would like to highlight Drunk Days specifically. Mm-hmm, right. That is that bitch. Also, the way that this, I feel like every month I remember that this album exists <laughs> and I listen to it front and back, but specifically feeling like by Pentagon because this album has me in a chokehold. It's been months, y'all probably half a year and I'm still here. I'm still writing hard for this album. So yeah. Also, I have Love Me by One We as oh, my babies. Oh my god, did you guys see that video of Yunghun in the military band? Like the videos. Oh, my baby. They deserve better. Also, my one song of the week is No Diggity because guess what? She's back, bitches. She's back in her one era, even though she's still sad. <laughs> but it's fine because I still love all of the members. Period. Period. Uh, speaking of uh, One Wee, uh, while I was in City for a while, we took a break because a One Wee music video popped up and one of my friends and I were like, oh my God. And then our other friend was just like, who this? And like, Ooh. Ooh. yes. Let and we were like, you. excuse Dan me? She's like, who's this? So we started playing music videos and just like explaining to like about them and who they are as a group. Yeah. And like, she's like, oh my god and like we look over at her and she's sobbing and she's like she's like listening i think it was was it regulus that she was listening to oh that one she stopped i don't know it's always or, regular or, yeah yep. anyway mm-hmm. it was like two that songs song. she, she cried for like two songs and she's like who is this vocalist she's like i don't know if oh. i'm just being extra right now but no, i literally not. have chills she's and not. like we, we told her like no it's normal it this mm-hmm. this is the process that everyone goes through when they first mm-hmm. get into one week yep. she's like what yep. Vocalist of uh, the century. Yeah, like, he just yep. brings his chills. Like she just looks over. She's like, Spunk. "Who is this vocalist?" <laughs> like, well, I'm telling you. Wow. So yay! So we have another oh. convert. Like she loves them. Like she added songs instantly. She's like, oh, if she's them. like, love if they week. come to the states, let me know. I'm going. Oh, and I was like, oh my god, Girl, I wish. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go to Korea for them. I just know yeah, I know. Like, damn, so sad. But anywho, um, I've been in. in y'all already know. I've been in In City. Can we like? <laughs> there's so we're just gonna say um Elevator because it's one of my favorite songs from my favorite One to Seven album, and I got to see it live. Same thing for Love Song. Ooh. Yes. Um, also, oh, I'm so jealous. Oh my god. Also, The Rainy Night and White Night because White Night's also one of my favorite songs, and they did The Rainy Night and White Night, and like it was since I'm, like it was a lot at the time because Houston was the first stop to get the like Hechan video clips. So like while they were singing that, they played clips of him from past concert singing it, so it made it seem like he was there. So every because they didn't sing any of his lines and they didn't um like move their formation to like cover his spot. So when he has like his dance break solos and stuff, like they just they do their part and they just act like he's there. Like it was so cute that they didn't like rearrange anything. anything. Yeah, uh-huh. but they played these clips, so it made it seem like he was actually there singing. And some people were so confused. They're like, "Is he here?" And I'm like. Not girl. <laughs> but then in hindsight, That's after funny. we were all sobbing uncontrollably, we thought about it, and it th- it kind of made it seem like it was like in memoriam to our friend Hechen, like he <laughs> like he had already been passed oh, to the no. upper room, or as my friend said, they have already spray painted his face on a T-shirt. Like it seemed For very real. much that like he had died. But it was a, <laughs> but it was nice though to kind of make it feel like he was there and singing his parts. And so yeah, anywho. Those are my songs of the week. <laughs> oh, and two baddies. Because whether hey. you, if you if you are a hater of two baddies, like fine, whatever. Mm-hmm. But if you saw two ba- baddies live, it, you you gotta see it live. You gotta see it live. That's all I gotta say. It's one of those songs. I mean, I love two baddies, not even live. But you, you will be a convert I mean, no. once you see it live. So yes, I still listen to it all the time. So Bro, I got to be in a Porsche, uh, like recently, and I was like, wow, very much giving two baddies. <laughs> <laughs> like she's like i understand <laughs> i understand i get it <laughs> uh for my songs of the week honestly what the heck have i been listening to a lot um i've been listening to got seven a lot like i mentioned earlier so um just to say a song i'm gonna say follow me 
and um, Take My Hand, because those are my favorites. Um, Girl Magnetic, too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I'll just throw those in there, even though I've just been listening to them on, uh, you know, at random. Um, Also, the SK, the Stray Kids Replay um, album, I burned (laughs) that shit to the ground. I love it so much. (laughs) So I've been listening to that a lot. And Mm -hmm. uh, let me see what else. I've been on a Indigo, like, kick yet again uh, Uh with uh, RM, especially uh, Closer and Hectic. So good. And um, I've been listening to Vibe a lot. And because of that, I started listening to Taeyang. So, like, Ice Nose Lip, Wedding Dress, like. Love that for you. The jams, Mm -hmm. the jams. Also, everyone notice how she said she's burning the Stray Kids album to the ground, but not Yu-Gi-Oh's song to the ground. Just want to. (laughs) Yeah. We rest our case. We rest our case. I <laughs> mentioned when we were talking about it that this is not my favorite song that he's done. Thank you. Yep, yep, yep. No, no, no. It's fine. Mm-hmm. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. It's wow. fine. Okay. I, was, I was just saying. I was wow. just saying. I didn't say anything. I was just like my mentioning God. it. I'm being attacked. I'm being attacked. <laughs> Left and right. Let me live. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um. So whether you are, uh, you know, vibing with Jimin and Taeyang, love that. I just, I love it so much. Um, whether you are seeing one of the seven K-pop tours that are going on in the States right now, aka NCT, Oneus, and Flying. There's like so many people here right now. So many. Uh, My music taste, stop sending me emails about Oneus. I'm sad. Oh. Or, um, you know, you're um, streaming the shit out of the new Miley Cyrus song. I know it's not K-pop, everybody, but everyone please go listen to it. I that heard song. it so good. It's I heard clips incredible. of it. It's so fucking good. Anyway, uh, make sure you always, always fangirl on. on.